Today's video is going to be about doing things alone, how I became comfortable with it, and how you can too. So I wasn't always comfortable doing things by myself. If I ever wanted to go shopping, go to the library, or anything like that, I always required a friend by my side. Because for some reason, I thought if people saw me doing certain activities in public alone, they would perceive me as lonely or strange, which always made me feel a little self-conscious. And this fear of people's judgment has limited me on so many occasions. A while ago, I got a ticket to a concert I really wanted to go to, but then none of my friends ended up being able to go. So then I sold my ticket and never went. Sometime after that, I realized I no longer wanted to be restricted by the availability of others. If I want to do something, I can do it. And if there's no one to accompany me, so be it. And since then, I have traveled solo, eaten at a restaurant by myself, and purchased a ticket to a concert which I will be attending by myself that I do not intend to sell. When I do something alone for the first time, it usually seems a bit scary and awkward at first, but those feelings never last. Every time I do something new by myself, I realize it was never as scary as I thought it would be. If you're also looking to do more things solo but you're a little hesitant, I recommend taking small steps. For example, if you want to become comfortable eating by yourself at a restaurant, but that seems like a bit of a stretch from where you are right now, I recommend just, you know, starting with hanging out at a coffee shop and once you become really comfortable doing that, try out the restaurant. Same goes for many different activities. If going to a concert intimidates you, get comfortable going to the movies by yourself, and so on. But if you just want to generally become content and at ease with doing things by yourself, again, start small. You can go on walks alone, hit the beach, go study at the library, read a book in the park, stuff like that. Also, something important that you need to know when you're trying to become comfortable doing things by yourself is that nobody is judging you. I know sometimes it may feel that way, but really no one cares. Let's put it this way, if you saw someone who was reading a book at the park or was watching a movie by themselves, you wouldn't look twice and sometimes you wouldn't even notice them, you know? And so why would other people care if you were doing the same thing? The thing is, is they don't. And there are so many benefits with being comfortable doing things alone, like you can do whatever you want, whenever you want, and you don't have to wait for anyone. You can move at your own pace, you don't have to follow anyone else's schedule, you're only on your own time. Also during your time alone you have a lot of time to self-reflect and think and I feel like that can be very important. And although I love doing things with my family and my friends, sometimes they're not always available and I have to go out and do things by myself and that's okay and I enjoy it. Time to go to the beach! All right, this beach. In 800 meters, turn right onto Mount Seymour Parkway. Thank you, Siri. Um, this beach is low key far away. It's like half an hour, but I'm excited to go. I've arrived at the park I'm going to. It literally took me like 45 minutes to get here, but it's genuinely such a beautiful place. So I'm very excited to chill out here. I really hope that I brought my AirPods because if I didn't, I'm not going to be very happy. If I didn't bring my AirPods, I will probably only be capable of staying for like 20 minutes. And everyone knows the Barbie movie is out and I really want to go see it and I was gonna go with my friends but I'm only home for about a week and then I'm going back to Toronto and then like everything's just kind of crazy and anyway like there was just no other time that I could really do it other than today or tomorrow but no I couldn't do it tomorrow I, there were no other days I could do it and and uh, long story short I couldn't really work out a time to go with my friends and I really wanted to go. So tonight I'm going. I'm a little bit scared though because I've never done, I've never gone to a movie alone, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad. And I really wanna see the movie so I'm gonna go see the movie and show you guys that it's really not that bad. Here's the fit also. Hold on, I'll show you full on. Here's the outfit of the day for the movie. No, unfortunately I'm not wearing anything pink because I don't have any comfy clothes that are pink. 
So I'm being lame and I'm not dressing up. But yeah. So the movie's at 9.40 and right now it's like almost 9, but it's like a 20 minute drive away. So still have a bit of time before I go. All right, off I go. See, now my mother has, seems to think that I'm gonna get kidnapped. So that's fun. See, if you're not doing something alone for safety reasons, that is smart. I will be fine though. Knock on wood. <laughs> anyway, let's go. I'm ready. I'm excited. Yeah. All right. Proceed to Kingsborough Street. Okay. Then turn left. I just watched the Barbie movie. I really enjoyed it. It was kind of goofy, but also not. At the stop sign, turn left onto Kingsborough Thank Street. Thank you, Siri. Then turn right. So I'm going to Costa Rica for three weeks. I'm very excited. Time to go. I mean, I've only gone solo traveling twice, but the first few days are kind of spent alone and that's honestly really nice for me and I can always spend time alone when I feel like it, but then you kind of, depending on where you're staying and depending on what you're looking for, I guess, but if you're staying in hostels or if you're staying in places with common areas where, you know, there's a lot of socializing going on, you can start to meet people, you know, and everyone's always going to be really nice because you know, they kind of want to meet people too. And there are also other solo travelers who want to make connections and, you know, stuff like that. So even if you do go travel solo, it doesn't mean you're going to be by yourself the entire time. Yeah, and I mean, unless you want to. So I'm going to start getting ready for the day and then I'm going to go out for the day. Okay, so I'm going to go to the grocery store now just to get a few things, maybe some fruit. I don't know. I, mean, I just want to get a few things to eat because I have a little mini fridge, which is nice. But yeah, so I'm going to go out to the grocery store. But honestly, a nice thing about solo traveling is you can go, everything is on your own schedule. You can wake up whenever you want. You can go see whatever you want, when you want. So yeah, I'm going to go to the grocery store and get a few things. I got some stuff from the grocery store. I'll give you guys a haul. Got some cucumbers, yogurt, even though I don't have a spoon, but they have a kitchen here, so that'll be good. Got some granola, a mango, some strawberries, and some kiwis. These strawberries are absolutely delicious. I do need to get some breakfast because I'm quite hungry, and I also need a good coffee. So, went to get groceries and now I'm on the hunt for a good coffee shop. Time to head back out on the town. I'm going to a coffee shop now, which actually serves breakfast. Also, I just checked in and then I walked around for a bit, but now I want to go to like this cool lookout point that's like, it's like relatively close and I want to check it out 
because it looks cool. Well, I've seen lots of photos of it. It's called El Miro. That is the first time I've ever seen monkeys. How silly. Dude, I'm literally sweating my ass off though. Look at this. Have returned every time I go outside I have to take a cold shower afterwards because the humidity is 80% I'm not used to this I'm Canadian so I'm gonna shower have a little snack have a little siesta and then yeah I decided to walk back from the hike place I ubered on the way there then I decided to hike back or walk back and it Took me like half an hour, 45 minutes, but here I am. Okay, I had a little shower and now I'm gonna go, I ordered some food and I'm gonna go down and get it. Cause I was too lazy to go out. This is like my lunch dinner. But this smells really good. <laughs> Look at this. That looks delicious, I got a burrito. I don't know what this is. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's rice. Except I don't have a fork. Yummy burrito. Oh. Oh. This is delicious. What is this? It's like a mayo. It's like a little, little dip. This is so scrumptious. Oh my god. Much better than the wrap I had on the plane. Ten out of ten. That burrito that I just consumed on my hotel floor was probably the most delectable burrito that I've ever eaten in my entire life. I will be going to that restaurant once again. That was actually so delicious. Like, I, time for my green of the day. Cucumber. Dude, I don't know how it got in here, but there's a bug in, in the other room. I'm hiding in the bathroom. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Oh, it was flying so fast. If that thing touches me, I'm literally gonna stay in here for like 30 minutes. I can't deal with bugs. Maybe it'll just die out there. I don't know where it is. I must locate it. I must leave this bathroom and capture it. I might sleep in here. And I'm not even kidding. Oh, God. It's been like 30 minutes. I called my parents. And I still haven't left the bathroom. I can. I can do it. I will not let a bug control my life. No. I made it out of the room. I'm prepared for battle. I have two sweatshirts on, shorts, pants, and I'm gonna put socks on my hands. And it can't touch me, it can't get me that way.
All right, everyone. So that was my video on being alone, doing things alone, how to become comfortable doing things alone. Well, I hope that maybe the video showed you guys that it's not as scary as it may always seem and that sometimes you do have to step out of your comfort zone, but it's worth it in the end. And you know, again, it may seem scary at first, but then once you do it, it's always never as bad as you would think. Obviously though, if you don't do things alone for safety reasons, that is good, that is 100% valid and I also there are also things I don't do for safety reasons But if you guys want to get out and you want to do something by yourself, but you're a little scared You know start off small and You can do it. It may take some time depending on the person, but You know once you get to the point where you are comfortable with yourself and confident being alone it's a really awesome feeling and you can do what you want, when you want. So that was the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped, I hope it helped you out and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, goodbye. Mm -hmm.